Hey everyone, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, oh, welcome back to my channel, guys. So this is your daily message for the 2nd of March. So hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm going to use my Divine Abundance deck to get you guys an oracle today. And some tarot cards. So overall, pretty great message for you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I feel like I have to sneeze. Oh, okay. Hmm. What do I have going on for you guys? What is your message? Well, I definitely feel like today is about really listening to your body. The reason I say that is because the four swords is here. You're in a place right now where I feel like some of you are go, go, go. Some of you are overwhelming yourself. You're overburdening yourself. You're, you know, you're, when you're doing too much, your body ends up I don't know if rejection is the word that I would say, but I feel like some of you, your body is kind of getting to that point where it's going to start showing signs of being irritable or tired or exhausted. Or, um, I, I know for me, my, my, because there's a lot going on with my body right now that my body's way of, you know, dealing with everything is, you know, that I'm more angry than normal. Um, so I'm lashing out at people that I don't need to be lashing out on. Um, so I'm like literally apologizing every day. Right. Um, but it's because it's my body's way of trying to heal what's, what's going on. Um, so I feel like for some of you with this four of swords, it, it's just needing to take that rest period today. If you feel like, you know, there, there's something not right. There's something not going on. Like, you know, the, your, this is your body's way of saying like, Hey, you need to slow down. Hey, something's going on here. Um, if you're feeling really tired today, you know, just rest, take this day for yourself. I know that, that, you know, for some of you that might be a little bit hard, but I feel like when we're constantly go, 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 when we're constantly doing for other people, when we're constantly helping everyone else and we're not doing the necessary steps to help ourselves, we're not doing the necessary steps to be there for ourselves, you know, that can become exhausting. That can become, you know, mentally exhausted as well. So I feel like if you're in a period where you know your body is telling you it's time to slow down, it's time to get checked out, it's time to, you know, reevaluate things. It, it's time to put the swords down. It, it's just time to do some inner reflection today. Don't hesitate not to do it because I feel like for some of you, you know that you need to check in with your doctor. You know, you need to check in for some tests. You know, you need to check in for, you know, whatever the case is. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going with this reading is that I feel like it's, you know, a day to really check in with yourself, a day to really say, okay, you know, when was the last time I did something for myself? When was the last time I did something that I needed? You know, because you can you can help everyone, but if you're not helping yourself, then eventually you're going to burn out. And I feel like that's kind of where I'm going with this message is that some of you are on the verge of burning out. Some of you are on the verge of um, not being able to fully be at your best. So what I say with that four of swords right now is that, you know, if you need to feel like you need to put up the swords today, if you feel like you need to just, you know, put on the brakes, you know, rest, put on the brakes, watch some Netflix, watch some movies, chill out. Tomorrow's a new day. All right. Four of Pentacles tells me that you guys need to let go of something. There's something that you're just really holding on to. I don't know if it's a grudge or if it was if it's resentment, but it's kind of like you're in a place of being able to say, you know what, I am okay. You know, and I need to let go of this negative attachment. I need to let go of this negative thinking. I need to just go within and allow myself to feel like I'm okay. Because, you know, when we've had so much negative stuff happen to us, when we have so much bad stuff happen to us, it's, it's kind of like we're waiting for the next thing to come back around, right? So I feel like that's what's happening with some of you is that you've had so much bad luck or so much bad things have happened to you. Then now you have something good going on in your life. You have good things coming towards you, but you're waiting for that bad thing to come back around. You know, you attract what happens to you. So don't think of all the good and all the abundance and all the blessings that's coming into your life. Don't think it 
through the negative lens. Allow yourself to feel this happiness. Allow yourself to feel these blessings and allow yourself to feel this abundance because this abundance and blessing is, is here for you. Okay. So I feel like whatever you're holding on to, it's, it's just a time to let go. It's a time to, you know, really, really reflect, really, really go within, really rest up, really do what you need to do for you. You know, it's, it's being in charge. We have the emperor here. So it's like being in charge of who you are today, being in charge of what you truly want. You know, you can, again, you can help all the people that you want to help, but if you're not helping yourself, then, you know, you've got, you've, you've got to relook really at that because you are, you are only as strong as you give yourself credit for, you know what I mean? Like you, you have to see yourself through that strong, confident lens. You have to see yourself as brave and courageous and strong and, and know that yes, you want to be helping people, but you also be, you also have to be able to help yourself. You also have to be that voice in your own head that says, you know what, you can go after this. You can achieve this. You can be brave. You can be courageous. You can fight through this. You can win this. You can, you know, whatever the situation is, it's like, you know, I'm always telling people everything that people need to hear. Right. But I never take my own advice. I never take my own, um, things. So, the last couple of days with all these health issues coming up, I'm just like, I am brave. I am strong. I'm courageous. I'm going to be okay. And I, I just keep trying to keep things positive. And I really feel like that's what it is. Whatever you're going through, it's, it's just about keeping things positive right now. You will rise above this high price, rush, you know, you will rise above what is trying to break you. You will rise above what is trying to, to bring you down. What is trying to challenge you? What is trying to make you feel like you're not okay? You know, sometimes again, we get so caught up in everything that's ever gone wrong in our lives that we just can't see that it's such a blessing that we even went through that, you know, so it's rising above anything that's trying to break you down, staying positive, staying grounded, just knowing you will have the answers and clarity you need when it comes to this situation, you know, but you have to just believe more in yourself. I feel like it's a confidence thing. I feel like maybe some of you have, have had a blown to your confidence. So it's about knowing that you have that confidence within you to head to the next step. We also have the page of cups. So this just tells me that there's an offer. There's a commitment, something of that line that's coming your way. You might have been waiting on an offer, waiting on some type of commitment. But this is, again, this is looking forward. This is not looking behind. This is not looking what you've been through. Use what you have been through to get you through this next obstacle, this next challenge. You know, you are exactly today where you're supposed to be. And even though you may not know exactly where God is taking you, you know that today you are okay. And you know, as long as you channel your energy and put this time and energy into yourself, you will make it through anything because you are strong, you are brave. Um, and, and some of you with this empress, some of you could be finding out you're pregnant. You could be finding out that there's some type of, you know, baby news on the way. You could be finding out that this is birth of something. You could be starting a new project, a new project or a new business foundation could be coming towards you. The empress also says that this is a new beginning. So, so for some of you, this is a second chance to be happy. This is a second chance to move forward. We have the two of cups and the lover. So this is a twin flame situation. This is um, a relationship commitment. This is something that could be opening up. And this is something that could be expanding. This is something that could be, you know, just, just loving up, growing up. There could be some type of commitment that's moving up. This is, you know... This is a strong connection, okay? You might have, you might even have a relationship that is forming now. You might have a relationship that's coming in, and Spirit says, You have to know this person is in your life for a reason. You have to know that we sent this person to help you, to, to guide you, to love you, to support you, and we need you to let this person in. You know, that could be it. A lot of you could be afraid of, you know, what you've been through, you know, especially if it comes to your twin flame situation where you feel like, you know, you, you've waited so long for this and how, how is this going to work out now? You know what I mean? So it's just about seeing things from a different perspective for some of you. It's about keeping that door open, keeping your heart open, keeping your mind open, allowing things to unfold the way they're supposed to allow this love connection to form the way that it's supposed to. Nothing happens overnight. Everything happens when we need it. And it's just about embracing all of this love and all of the support that's around you guys right now right? Because there's a lot of love and a lot of support, but I feel like a lot of you really need to rest. I really need to check in with yourself, especially when it comes to your health this, today. So we have the clearing energy and it says, 
As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom, okay? So there's this need to clear things right now. There's this need to know that as you let go of things, as you clear out old energy, you're making room for new energy. You're making room for new memories. You're making new room for a lot of new things, right? So it's just embracing that. It's embracing where you're going. We have letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Okay, so it's time to let go of something. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say good riddance. It's time to say I don't need you anymore. It's time to say I'm ready for this next step. I'm ready to embark on this new beginning. Karma is coming up, okay? So karma says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life, okay? So everything comes around the way that it's supposed to. Everyone gets their karma the way that they're supposed to. So it's kind of like if someone has burned you, allow karma to handle it. You know, you don't need to be out here making things worse for yourself. It's about the forgiving, right? When someone burns you, don't take it personally. Allow that person to do what they need to do and you move on to where you need to go. You know, that person's thought, idea, perception of you is, is them. It's not how you view yourself. How you view yourself should not be, how you view yourself should not be a reflection of how others view you. You need to be able to love yourself no matter what flaws you have. Invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you seriously. Just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. Okay? So this is inviting help in. This is, you know, saying, God, I need your help during this troubled time. You know, angels, I need you to surround your light around me right now. I need I need guidance. I need support. I need help. I need, you know what I mean? It, it's an inviting that help in and allowing yourself to remain open during a troubled time. And that's what I feel for you guys is your message today. All right. So sending you lovelies, all love and light. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.